When working with Android log files, it would be useful to be able to see all the messages that contain JSON while you're debugging. Um, so what we're going to do is create a new filter. We're going to call it all JSON. Now we're going to need to create a complex filter. So if you hold down your option key and click this plus button a few times, it's going to let us create these complex filters. And I'm just going to go ahead and set the outline. So in, uh, I'm going to create a set of filters that are specific for dictionaries and a set of filters that's specific for arrays. So any of the parts I need for my dictionary, which I'll be putting here, and then um, I need all for the dictionary, and then the rest of this I can get rid of here. Now we're going to be looking in the message body, and we're going to see if the message body contains that's for a dictionary, and we're going to need a few more here, so we're going to set these to messages as well. So now if we have a curly brace, a closing curly brace, a comma is common within the uh, dictionaries and quotes um, you almost always need within a dictionary. So those characters there should get us pretty close. So it has to have all these characters to classify as our di JSON dictionary. Now I'll go ahead and create the, um, go ahead and create one for arrays. And I accidentally deleted that, so I'll just create it here again. And we're going to need a few of these. And let me create one more. All right, so for JSON arrays, that's a square brace open close. There's commas in JSON arrays, and we also typically have at least one set of quotes within a JSON array. So now that's our filter. And we can click Apply here and say OK. And if we click on it, so now you can see I'm seeing JSON here, and it's filtering out most of the other log messages. Um, we can double click on it and click the, go into the pretty printer and see that it pretty prints our JSON there. Here's another message that it got caught in our filter because it contains all the characters we're looking for. So this is pseudo JSON, but not true JSON, but uh, it, it might be what you're looking for as well. So that's how to filter for all JSON within um, all your log messages while the log's running. I hope you enjoy the video and check back for more later.